Hey guys, this is Aaron from Breakdance Decoded. Don't forget to subscribe to our website and our YouTube channel. So for today, we're going to show you what's wrong with your face. For today, we're going to be showing what's wrong with your grub. So here's right up the four mistakes that a lot of beginners do at the start. First mistake that a lot of beginners do is that when they kick up from the grub, they slide forward and they hit. The grub itself is a very rotational move. You kind of rotate on your head and then you catch the baby freeze. So there should be no sliding, granted that if the floor is slippery, that you can do it a little bit. So how do people end up sliding forward? It's because they're not kicking up. So this is what I mean. Okay, that was really exaggerated, but I can see from my master leg, I'm not pushing up, I'm just kind of pushing myself away from my leg. So, how to correct this? This is to pump your master leg correctly and let the body launch upwards. And... Second mistake, very simple. For your lower body, you need to understand that there is two components, your left and your right leg for your master leg and your non-master and each one is supposed to do a different thing. Your master leg is supposed to pump you up into the air, the non-master leg is supposed to sweep in a circular motion to bring about the rotation so you can get into the baby freeze. Okay, so your master leg is just going upwards and your non-master is this. Right, so when you add them together and then you pump and you sweep, this is what happens. One more time, you can see that I pump myself up and I sweep. Then I will actually rotate. This is what you want the rotation, not the sliding forward or going anywhere else. You rotate and end up in the baby face. Pump, sweep. Mistake number three hands. So when you're lying down and do a grab, don't take it easy, don't put your hands down. Get ready to catch yourself. Like you want to go in the baby freeze, so make sure you minimize the amount of delay time that you have so that your body can actually adapt and catch yourself fast. So what people like to do What you should be doing Get ready from here And then you throw so you can straight away catch So pump Once you get better with the grub, then you can start to mess around with your hands. Okay, but for now, I highly recommend reducing the delay time as much as possible so your body knows what to do. One more time. Mistake number four is when people take a lot of mental prep to actually attempt to grub. So this is not really a mistake, it's more like a bad habit that will definitely affect your attempt of doing the grub. So what a lot of people like to do. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Then they do the grub. Okay? So what I'd like you to try is that you set a definite goal for yourself, maybe one, two, then you grub and then you slowly reduce it bit by bit. So if you're comfortable, one, then you grub. Then after that, you just hit the grub straight away. So what I mean is this. Start off like that. One, two. Okay, once you're comfortable, one grub. One, grub. Once you're ready, you hit the grub straight away. Okay, thumb. And you go to the grub. Okay, so I want you to reduce the mental prep by setting the definite goal like I need to execute this within X number of tries. You know, I shouldn't be like da -da 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 and then you try to do it. We have come to the end of the tutorial. So you have seen the four mistakes that most people do when they try to learn the grub. 
The two key takeaway points I hope you bring away from today, which you could use this takeaway points on other moves in breaking, is that number one, you need to understand that each component of your body is supposed to do something which is specific to help you achieve the move. For example, in one of the mistakes we talked about how both of your legs, each one has a different purpose. The second key takeaway would be to understand the direction, the end direction, the end position that you're going into and how this move that you're currently doing should lead you to that goal. For example, in one of the mistakes, we talked about how the grub was supposed to rotate but some people are actually sliding forward just because they're not using the momentum or not executing the momentum correctly to turn and instead they're sliding backwards.